Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. And by Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. I am Jordan Strack. For the first time in the history of this show, we are doing it remotely to ensure that we are able to follow all the safety protocols that are necessary. It is a new challenge for all of us, but it's one we take seriously, and we are excited to get this thing going. So without further ado, let's kick off the high school football season with our game of the week. Here it is. How about a week one rivalry matchup between St. John's and St. Francis. The Titans and Brady Lichtenberg came out firing. First quarter, after over an hour rain delay, Carson Toth inside the 10, gets the carry. He plows his way into the end zone for a quick 7-0 St. John's lead. Knights trying to answer. They would get down inside the red zone, but Stephen McCoy would cough it up. It is recovered by the Titans' Chad Berg down there at the bottom of that pile. We would go to the second quarter. Lichtenberg showing off that arm. One of the top quarterbacks in the country. The future Cincinnati Bearcat to the future Toledo Rocket, Thomas Zyrus, 74 yards for the Titan touchdown, and they would win it big tonight, 40 to 13. It's huge, you know, it's, it's, it's huge for our community, it's huge for our kids at our school. Uh, our kids have put in a lot of hard work, you know, and, and, and right now this is kind of the, the, the culmination of all that hard work. Three months ago we didn't even know if we were going to have a season, and tonight was really the first night that we could control what was going to happen, and uh, you know we came out with a lot of energy and against a good St. Francis team that you know, there was a lot of respect for, and they're doing a really good job over there, but tonight uh, we were able to come out with a lot of energy and kind of put it to them right from the start. Next up in the track, a great matchup here, Finley and Whitmer. New Finley coach Matt Pease patrolling the sidelines. His last job in the NFL with the Tennessee Titans. Pretty cool. Trojans get off to a good start here. Max Roth on the read option, decides to keep it, makes a cut, finds a hole, and see ya. He takes it all the way for a 56-yard touchdown. Finley up 7-0 early. Finley with more on offense here. Roth looks to his right, finds Ben Ireland on the sideline, breaks a tackle up the sideline for a 24-yard score. Trojans win it 31 to 21. The preseason pick to win the Three Rivers once again, Central Catholic. Irish opening up the year on their home field against Lima Senior. Irish on defense here. Bad snap by the Spartans back in the end zone. The pressure from Caleb Clark forces an intentional grounding and a safety. Irish get a couple points there. Second half, some of the backups getting some reps. Taiwan Clark back to pass. He tucks it and runs, muscles his way into the end zone to extend that lead. Irish would go on to win it 55 to nothing. Last stop in the track. A couple surprise, a couple teams here hoping to surprise some people. Fremont Roth making the trip to, out to take on the Clay Eagles. First half, no score. Eagles working on offense. Logan Heinchel back to pass finds Jordan Petaway. He would go to work, making a few men miss. Keeps his balance down the sideline. He would eventually be brought down, but not before a big game. Same drive. Heinchel handing it off to Mike Daly. He would find some space outright. He would fly into the end zone for a play touchdown. Fremont Roscoe would come back to win it 35 to 21. The defending NLL champs from Anthony Wayne, the league favorites once again. Generals on the road and Sylvania taking on Northview tonight. Anthony Wayne up 7-3. They'd add to it here. Charles Renninger punches in the one-yard score. Generals rolling early. More from Anthony Wayne. This time the screen pass. Garrett Pike to Renninger. He would take this for a big gain, taking it all the way down inside the Northview, the Northview 20-yard line, and that would set up this. Renninger takes the handoff. He will stroll into the end zone for a touchdown. Anthony Wayne would win big 35-3. Southview thinks that they are much improved this year. Could they surprise some folks? Tonight, the Cougars making the trip down 24 to take on the Napoleon Wildcats, and yeah, the rain gear was out. First quarter, handed off to Jarrett Gerdeman, one of the top running backs in the NLL. Spins outside, fights for some tough yards after contact. Then save drive, this is a fourth and goal play. Fullback pass to the end zone, but it's nicely broken up. That Southview defense holding strong. That was Paul McGowan. But second quarter, Napoleon would get on the board. Senior Zach Rosebrook lobs, up for, lobs it up for Nathan Brubaker, who's gone 73 yards. That would make it 14-0. Napoleon would go on to win it big tonight on opening night. 35-0 was that final. In our last stop in the Northern Lakes League, Bowling Green on the road taking on Maumee. Longtime college assistant Mike Ward 
now the assistant, or now the defensive coordinator at BG High School. First quarter, BG driving, Eli Brown keeps it, takes off down the sideline, gets down inside the 15 before he's eventually brought down. Bobcats will cap off the drive. Brown pitches it over to Ryan Johnson. The big man comes rumbling into the end zone for the first score of the game. And then to the second quarter, Brown on the quarterback keeper around the corner there. Bowling Green would go on to beat Maumee 42 to seven. 